Hello again, everyone. So I just posted the curriculum choices we made for the 2021-2022 school year. Um, my daughter is five, she'll be six next week, and she will be entering first. And my son is eight, he will be entering second. Um, he, age-wise, he should be in third, but we made the decision to hold him back and not start him in kindergarten until he was six. I honestly feel like that was the best decision that we could have made for him. And I really wish that we had made the same decision for my daughter instead of starting her at five. Um, but we did start her at five and she's doing okay, but I really think that that extra year would have probably helped her as well. Um, so because of that most, well, I don't want to say most, but a lot of the supplements and resources that I've purchased have been with her in mind. So one example of that is this Life of Fred apples. This is a math supplement that we will be using. We, my intention is to do it family style where we sat down and I'll read this chapter, read the story, and then they'll both do the problems. Um, this is apples. This is the first one in the elementary series. It has some very basic concepts that she did this past year, starting with telling time. Um, you know, she did learn how to tell time. She does know how to count, um, you know, up to seven. She doesn't necessarily have those facts memorized by heart, but she, some of them she can spit out, some of them she has to think about, or, you know, ask to use manipulatives. But I thought this might be fun just to sit down and do as a family and kind of help maybe build her confidence a little. I thought about getting one of the later ones, such as cats or dogs, that would be introducing concepts that she'll be learning in her first grade math. And I may skip around, I'm not sure yet, but to start out, I wanted to start out at the lowest level and build her confidence because she is a child that if she struggles to do something, then she thinks she can't do it or it's hard. Um, but I've noticed that starting her out in stuff that I know she knows how to do really builds her confidence really makes her realize that, hey, you know, I can do this. This is easy. This is fun. So that is my hope with these. Um, but I am going to make my son sit down and participate as well, because even though he knows the stuff that is in the Apple's book, um, some extra practice is not going to hurt him at all. So that is just a little supplement. Um, I picked up for math and this was on sale at my local homeschooling store i'm very privileged i actually have two homeschooling stores in my town or in the town right next to mine and so this was 20 percent off all their curriculum was 20 percent off so i think this was like 14 dollars and some odd cents also for her i mentioned in my curriculum video that she we supplemented with explode the code code last year and it seemed to really help so i do plan to continue doing that one doing um the explode the code i have i'm you i have one and one and a half because i've not purchased level two yet um but i was very pleased and very happy with how well this helped her with her vowel sounds and her phonics so um, I do plan to continue that. I may not do the one and a half. Uh, I did the one and a half because she was still struggling a little bit. So I was doing the half books, but depending on how well she's doing, I may skip the halves and just go from two to three, but we'll see. I'll just kind of, I'll just kind of make that decision, you know, as I get to it. So, well, oh, and also to go with her phonics, I have been picking up these little read books. I have a ton of these, but every time I find them at a thrift store or yard sale for 50 cents or a dollar, um, I pick them up because it does help to build her confidence where reading is concerned. So I also have this 
great big treasury of Beatrix Potter. And I just plan to do this as some read alouds with both of my kids. I love the illustrations and the stories are so sweet. And honestly, I don't even remember where this came from. I think this was in a box that someone was donating and they, before they took it to the thrift store, they told me I could have it and go through it. And so I went through and picked out all the books I, I wanted or thought we could use. So there's that for my son. Um, I picked this up at a thrift store for a dollar. We are doing the Good and the Beautiful Science this year and I have a couple other things for science. But this I like for him just in the morning. One of the first, one of the things we started doing is just kind of a writing journal. And so he'll just read two or three pages and then he'll write a sentence um, kind of summarizing what it was he just read. Or if it has questions, he'll write the answers to the questions. So, and this is just something we do um, usually twice a week. It's it's not every single day, but it just gives him a little bit of extra reading practice and kind of um, starts him on summarization and summarizing things. During the Amazon and Target both had their books, well, certain books buy two, get one free. I have been looking at these for a while and I have been wanting them for a while, but they do have a pretty price tag. So, um, this says $17.99, but it's just a hundred devotions about God and science. So it's, um, a hundred just little devotions about science from a Christian perspective. So I picked these up during Amazon's buy two, get one free sale. I'd had a $20 gift card. I had one off of a Facebook group. And so I went ahead and I picked these up and then we're just doing one of these a day from one of these books. So these were the two books I wanted, but then it was buy two, get one free. So for my free one, I picked this up for my daughter as just some extra read aloud practice. So it's five books in one. So it's the An Elephant and Piggy Biggie book. And this has really helped build her confidence as well because they're long, but they're short if that makes sense like there's a, a sentence or a word on each page so the story may be you know 50 something pages but it's just it's just a sentence or a line or a word but then it builds her confidence because she's like oh look i've read 60 pages and i'm like yep because you're a good reader and so i picked that up for her as my free one and then also, to go with science, um, I got this, I don't know, I hosted a party last year, I believe, and so I used some of my rewards to pick up the science and geography encyclopedia, and so we are going to do water, and I'm thinking I've about decided on the marine animals, I'm not 100% sure, but those things are, you know, in this book and so my plan is to just as we get to it you know use this pull this book out and read what this book has to say about those subjects so with geography we are doing the united states and one of the activities in their geography books is creative writing so it is it gives them a writing prompt and then they are supposed to write a picture to go along with that writing prompt with their story from that writing prompt so i picked up a couple of these primary journals from walmart and they were so excited when they saw these and really wanted to like jump right into it and start writing their stories and drawing so um i picked up each one um each one of them their own journal and then also to go with geography, I have this puzzle. It's just the United States map, half off. So I believe it was only $1.50. And, and hello, my little one is here to help me. So also to go with geography, um, I also have the um, Usborne um, Geography Encyclopedia that has maps of the United States and just little, um, 
little, not really, what, not articles, but um, like people from different places and that kind of stuff. So um, I just plan to maybe pull this out and read some in it as well. I want to get back to um, our fun Fridays. So we do, right now our schedule is Monday through Thursday, we do language and math for sure and try to get handwriting in those days as well. And then um, Monday and Wednesdays are science days. Tuesdays and Thursdays is our social studies days. And then Fridays is like our fun Fridays where we go to the library. We um, do like if science has an experiment or social studies has an activity or arts and crafts, they love arts and crafts. Um, they've actually asked if they can do more arts and crafts this year. So, but one of the things we did last year was poetry. Um, I got this at a yard sale for a dollar. So someone really loved it. <laughs> but um, anyway, this is actually where the sidewalk ends by Shel Sil Silverstein or Silverstein. I need to look up how to pronounce that. But last year... I would I would check out poetry books from the library and then they would drink hot chocolate and eat cookies while we read poetry and they really enjoyed that. So when I saw this at a yard sale for a dollar, um, I went ahead and scooped it up because I know that this is a pretty popular children's author, 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 author. Hmm. Okay, and last, I did place an order also with Amazon for their, no, not Amazon, um, Target, with their um, buy two, get one free. Got the Wing Feather series. I, I um, bought all four books from Target. So this is book one, On the Edge of the Dark Sea of Darkness. Book two, North or Be Eaten. Book three, The Monster in the Hollows. And book four was also on sale, which I don't believe Amazon had this one as part of their um, buy two, get one free sale, if I'm not mistaken. If I'm not mistaken, I don't think they did because I think I looked at Amazon because it was a little bit cheaper, but it was not part of the promotion. So... I have heard amazing things about this series in my homeschooling groups. When someone asks for a book recommendation, this series always is always, always mentioned by multiple people. Um, they're supposed to be making a show about it. So I am going to pre-read these before I introduce them to my children um, and make sure that I feel like they're age level and age appropriate. Um, if not, I can, I'll just hang on to them. Um, until I feel they are, and if I feel like it's something that I don't necessarily want them introduced to, then I'll just donate them. But I also got, my son loves these Dogman series. He likes Captain Underpants as well, but he has all of the Dogman books except this one, the newest one, and he has read them all three or four times each he 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 just loves them he carries them around and he rereads them and he rereads them so um i went ahead and got him dog man mothering heights and cat kid comic club because he did not have this one and these were both on sale um but they were also part of the buy to get one free sale so anyway and i think i'm going to use these as gifts um my daughter's birthday party is next week and we always get um whenever one of our kids has a birthday and is getting gifts we always get our other kids some a little something like it's not huge oh no is my time up has your patience worn thin um so i think we're that's just what we do that's what we've always done and probably will always do so I think I'm just gonna wrap these up and give them to him then at her party so thank you guys so much for watching and listening to me ramble if you've made it to the end of the video thank you so much I will talk to y'all later bye